so dear students the next topic is the non homogeneous linear differential equations with variable coefficients previously we learnt about linear differential equations with variable coefficients which were homogeneous so now we are going to learn about the non homogeneous equations now the problem here says that find all solutions of the equation y double dash minus 2x squared y equal to x where x lies between 0 and infinity given that phi 1 of x equal to x squared is one of the solution of the homogeneous equation this equation where when it is homogeneous phi 1 of x is given as x squared so we can understand that that this is a non homogeneous equation because the right hand side is x so this equation we have to find the solution when when it, when it is homogeneous and also we have to find the particular solution and add it along with that now uh, in order to solve this first we will solve this equation when it is a homogeneous equation as it is as we have seen in our previous problems now one of the solution is given as x squared so we will choose the other solution to be u phi 1 that is phi 2 equal to u phi 1 and we will solve for it so first we shall consider this given homogeneous equation now the it is given that one of the solution phi 1 of x for this equation is x squared so we have to find phi 2 of x for this equation which we will take it as u phi 1 so phi 2 of x will be equal to u phi 1 is x squared so now we shall find this u so how we have to find it is first we have we understand that phi 2 satisfies this equation so when we substitute here phi 2 double dash minus 2 by x squared phi 2 will be equal to 0 now we have to find phi 2 double dash and substitute here so now what we shall do uh, from this we obtain phi 2 dash to be equal to so when we apply the uv method it will be u multiplied with 2x plus u dash into x squared now again we have to differentiate this so phi 2 double dash will be equal to so uh, this when differentiated again it will be 2u plus 2x u dash and then plus now you have to differentiate this so it will be 2 u dash x plus u double dash x squared so i've applied uv method on both the sides i mean both the terms for both the terms so next that will be equal to we can see that here we have 2x u dash and 2x u dash so rewriting this equation first we will write it in order u double dash x squared plus 4 x u dash plus 2u so this is our phi 2 double dash now we shall substitute phi 2 double dash and phi 2 in this equation so what we will obtain is so when we substitute it will be u double dash x squared plus 4 x u dash plus 2u and then minus 2 by x squared now what is phi 2 phi 2 is u x squared so u x squared is equal to 0 now this x squared and this x squared will get cancelled and plus 2u and minus 2u will also get cancelled and so the what we will be left out with is this that is u double dash x squared plus 4x u dash is equal to 0 now if we divide this equation throughout by x so divide by x what do we get here we get u double dash x plus now this x gets cancelled so 4 u dash is equal to 0 now rewriting this we can uh, write it as u double dash x taking this 4 u dash to the other side we get minus 4 u dash now bring this uh, u dash to the left so it will become u double dash by u dash equal to minus 4 when this x goes to the right it will be minus 4 by x now we shall integrate both the sides with respect to x now when we integrate both the sides with respect to x we understand that u double dash is the differentiation of the denominator so whenever the differentiation of the denominator is the numerator it's uh, the differentiation will be i mean the integration of that term will be equal to log of the denominator which is u dash is equal to minus 4 the integral of 1 by x is log x now uh, so log u dash will be equal to log 
x to the power minus 4. So, taking this to the power of x by using the logarithmic rule. So, from this we understand u dash is equals to x power minus 4 which can be written as 1 by x to the power 4. So, this is u dash. Now, from this we have to obtain uh, u by integrating again on both the sides. So, u dash dx is equal to integral 1 by x to the power 4 dx. So, while integrating u dash with respect to x, we get u. So, from that u will be equal to, now integral of uh, 1 by x power 4. With this x power 4, when taken to the numerator, it will be x to the power of minus 4. And on integration, we will get x to the power of minus 4 plus 1, which is minus 3 divided by minus 3. And so, the value of u will be equal to minus 1 by 3x cube. So, this is the value of 3, I mean uh, u. So, therefore, what will be phi 2? Phi 2 we have taken as u phi 1. And so, that is equal to u is minus 1 by 3x cube. And phi 1 is already x squared. So, when we simplify this, we get phi 2 to be, so this and this gets cancelled, we get phi 2 to be negative 1 by 3x. So, we have this uh, negative 1 by 3 we can omit. So, omit negative 1 by 3 for our convenience. So, phi 2 will be equal to 1 by x. So, we choose the, uh, I mean, we have got the solution phi 2 to be equal to 1 by x. The next step is to find the particular solution xi p of x. Now we know that the particular solution xi p is given by u1 phi1 plus u2 phi2. So when we substitute this phi1 and phi2 here, we get xi p to be equal to u1 x squared plus u2 1 by x. Now we have to find u1 and u2 and substitute here. We already know that u1 is given, I mean u1 dash is given by negative phi2 b divided by ron skin of phi 1 comma phi 2. Similarly, u2 dash is given by phi 1 b divided by ron skin of phi 1 comma phi 2. So, uh, to, in order to find u1 and u, u1 dash and u2 dash, first we shall find the ron skin and then we shall uh, find uh, u1 dash and u2 dash. So, ron skin is equal to determinant of phi 1 phi 2 so x squared 1 by x phi 1 dash is 2x and then phi 2 dash is negative 1 by x squared and so that will be equal to so then this multiplied with this we get negative 1 because uh, x squared and the x squared in the denominator will get cancelled. Then this multiplied with this. So minus 2x multiplied with 1 by x. So x and x will get cancelled. So get, we get minus 2. So that is equal to negative 3. So the value of the ron skin is minus 3. That we have obtained. Next we shall find u1 dash and u2 dash. So u1 dash will be equal to minus phi 2. So that will be minus 1 by x. And then a b. The What is the value of b? It is. It has to be taken from the question. From the question, we see that the value of b is equal to x. Okay, so this is x. So therefore, substituting that here, we get this as x divided by the Ronskian, which is uh, negative 3. So that will be equal to this x and x gets cancelled. Negative sign also gets multiplied and it becomes positive. So 1 by 3. So we observe that u1 dash is 1 by 3. So from which we get u1. On integrating 1 by 3, we get 1 by 3x. So therefore the value of u1 is 1 by 3x. Now in a similar way, we have to find u2 dash. So what will be u2 dash? It will be equal to phi 1b. Uh, what is uh, phi 1 actually? It's x squared. So x squared multiplied with b. b is x divided by the Ronskian, which is negative 3. And so that is equal to negative x cubed by 3. So this is u2 dash. So from this we can get u1 on integrating this. So what will be u1? It will be negative. When x cube is integrated, it becomes x power 4 by 4. So already we have a 3 in the denominator. So 4 multiplied with 3, it becomes 12. So therefore the value of y u2, I'm sorry, uh, u2 dash means it's u2 here. So u2 is equal to negative x power 4 by 12. So this is the value of u2. So, we have obtained the value of u1 and u2. Using these two, we shall substitute here, okay, uh, u1 and u2 and we can find the value of xi p. 
so u1 and u2 we have written here xi p of x we have taken and written and so that will be equal to when you substitute u1 here you get x by 3 multiplied with x squared plus u2 is uh, negative x power 4 by 12 multiplied with 1 by x so when we simplify this it becomes x cube by 3 and then negative sign and then here this gets cancelled and the power becomes 3 in the numerator so x cube by 12 and on taking the LCM here we will have 12 and 4 x cube minus x cube and so that will be equal to 3x cube by 12 and so that's equal to x cube by 4 because it gets cancelled and it is 4 times so x cube by 4 therefore the value of xi p of x the particular solution xi p of x is equals to x cube by 4 now we will write the most general solution xi of x which is equal to c1 phi1 of x plus c2 phi2 of x plus xi p of x and so therefore xi of x the most general solution xi of x will be equal to c1 xi, phi 1 of x is x squared plus c2 phi 2 of x is 1 by x plus xi p of x is x cube by 4 so this is the most general solution hope you have understood this problem thank you